Nosotros somos Procálculo, somos una empresa colombiana con 45 años de experiencia en el mercado. Somos líderes en el suministro de datos geográficos y geotecnologías. Eh, nuestro foco y nuestra estrategia es trabajar con los mejores proveedores a nivel mundial para el suministro de estas herramientas y estos datos a los usuarios en Colombia. Um, trabajamos alrededor de 100 personas en la compañía. Eh, tenemos unos grupos especializados con cada producto o cada segmento del mercado. Y bueno, ese es Procálculo. Básicamente buscamos cubrir todos los segmentos del mercado, pero de hecho a partir del 2014 buscamos focalizarnos especialmente eh, en unos mercados estratégicos pues acorde con todas las condiciones en Colombia, eh, específicamente defensa, energía, recursos naturales y oil and gas, petróleo. We're a 3D and 4D uh, geospatial services and content company. We fly planes, but really rely on uh, satellite data for our clients' uh, many requirements. So, uh, yep, just love that geospatial data. Eh, Buffet Ingeniería en Telecomunicaciones y Sistemas es una empresa que tiene 18 años en el mercado. Tenemos dos divisiones de negocio, uno que tiene que ver con la parte de telecomunicaciones y sistemas. Y desde el año 2008, que fue cuando empezamos eh, las primeras relaciones con RapidEye, eh, la división de soluciones espaciales. Hoy por hoy representamos a, a Blackbridge eh, como la empresa principal y proveedora de las imágenes satelitales. Trabajamos también con un asociado de ustedes que es Imashad de Israel y eh, tenemos algunas otras soluciones en cuanto a una empresa hindú de la parte de LiDAR y fotogrametría. Trabajamos con una empresa alemana para soluciones de batimetría y calidad del agua. Eh, trabajamos con otro asociado de ustedes, Interma, para la parte de modelos digitales de terreno, modelos digitales de superficie. ¿Cuáles son los mercados con los que estamos trabajando? Básicamente mucho gobierno, aunque desde que empezamos el proceso en el año 2009, y buscamos acercarnos mucho con las instituciones de investigación y desarrollo de nuestro país. Y eso nos ha dado un excelente resultado y bueno, el proyecto más grande que se ha desarrollado tiene que ver específicamente con el esquema del proyecto de MRB Red, en el cual México nos sentimos orgullosos, es uno de los países principales. ¿no? Uh, Mapbox es una plataforma para publishing imagery y análisis. Uh, the whole idea is to make it really easy to get totally interactive maps, whether it's a satellite mosaic or analysis that you process from the imagery into a website or uh, into an app. Uh, Esri is a large global company. Uh, we essentially create a geospatial platform uh, that is used by actually most of the um, Blackbridge partners and certainly most of their customers. So um, our customers are primarily um, government agencies, NGOs, um, organizations in various industries from uh, forestry, um, defense, um, mining, natural resources, um, transportation, it covers a huge expanse of, uh, of different enterprises. All those companies are using geospatial data in some form or another. So most organizations use ArcGIS as a way to manage their spatial content and integrate that content um, with their enterprise systems. So a lot of the technology is about how to, how to bring together technologies uh, and integrate um, spatial data into decision making. So um, from my side, most of the work that I do is on the imagery side. Uh, so I look after how imagery integrates into our products. Uh, that's one of the reasons I work very closely with Blackbridge. Um, most customers know Esri from their ability to work with vector data. Uh, but we actually have very, very strong capabilities of working with um, imagery. Um, we have a lot of capabilities of process imagery, analyze imagery, visualize imagery. Uh, one of our key strengths is the management of massive volumes of imagery. Uh, so we're working with Blackbridge um, to make um, the archives of imagery, the rapid eye imagery, uh, the archives of that imagery uh, quickly accessible to our customer or to our joint customers so that they can quickly make decisions. Uh, so that's the emphasis of what we're doing at the moment. Um, overall, we're responsible for regulations related to forest policy, 
and the management and administration of all state forest land. So uh, how do we regulate and enforce the forest policy and how do we um, manage the forest operations on the ground? So I would say are, there are three major areas of work that we are responsible for. Um, monitoring, so uh, monitoring of all state forest land, um, ensuring that there's proper social and environmental uh, operations in the forest based on the different concessionaires that we have. Um, so and then in addition to that, we monitor or do all documentation for timber export and harvesting. So that would be monitoring, uh, continuous regulations and development of standards and procedures. And then next we have our resource management division, which deals specifically with research and development in um, the forest dynamics, um, performing species in inventories, um, um, seeing how that filters into the work that the concessionaires are doing. Well, Geosis, in fact, is a startup since uh, 87. <laughs> well, we are no more a startup, but um, we are in charge, in fact, of uh, delivering uh, services for agriculture based on uh, space technology. And uh, that means that we are working in the field of precision agriculture and uh, produ production forecast at uh, the world level. Then we have uh, different subsidiaries. We are based in Toulouse. Uh, we have a subsidiary in uh, the state, in Minneapolis, one in Sao Paulo, in Brazil, uh, one in Australia, and we have uh, an office uh, in Moscow, and uh, two representatives, one in Germany, and one in Romania. Then we are, let's say, uh, global company, but very small in terms of uh, people, because we are only 60 or 70 guys in the world. 